I'm Ray Cappy, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the founding director of SciArc. And it's a great privilege for me to introduce Paul Rudolph to you this evening. Paul Rudolph is an exceptional architect. When I was just beginning, you want it that way? Okay. <laughs> In one of the most recently published articles on arts, architecture, and society, Rudolph stated, architecture schools sometimes seem overwhelmed by passing fads in, architect in the architectural press, for the principle of the matter is not made very clear. Principle is the only way. The entire architectural experience must always be subjected to principle when contemplating any work of architecture. Tonight, I hope Paul Rudolph will share with us the principles that he deems important in the making of his architecture. Paul Rudolph. Thank you very much. The last few words which you have just heard is what sums up my lecture. Uh, tonight, so maybe I don't even have to uh, tell you what I was going to say. I have chosen to make a title for my lecture, which I think has not been announced. It's called The DNA of Architecture. And by that, I really mean the great principles of architecture. You see, I sense that there is great creativity in your school and therefore this audience but because you are young and uh, have a long way to go it concerns me what happens to your innate spirit and talent and therefore it is my intent to try to be helpful to you in this matter. You see, you cannot teach people to be creative. Uh, you can help to make environments which encourage creativity, but it all too often uh, it gets lost. So I won't talk about creativity at all. I will talk about the essences, the DNA of architecture. They are considerations of site, of space, of scale, of structure, of function, and of spirit. There are six in number, and you can make your own list of principles, if you will, uh, and that would vary with each person in this room. But I do believe that in order to make the maximum use of your innate talent, that an understanding of those principles of architecture, which make architecture architecture, it is unlike the other arts, although there are many times it is very similar, and it is certainly not the considerations of the engineer are the administrator, are the often the specialist, are the numerous people that you will come in contact uh, uh, with uh, to help carry out your buildings. It is those essences which start with the beginning of time, I believe, and continue to this good day. I will use this illustration's uh, examples from the history of architecture, from 20th well, from everywhere, uh, uh, including some works of my own, to make, allow you to make sure that I follow my own principles. I had established by about 1952 or three uh, 
these principles for my own use with a great deal of help from a great many people, I should say, because I had an excellent architectural education. But uh, the idea of an overriding, guiding um, uh, set of ideas is uh, anathema to many people, and it may be to you. Uh, 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 so be it. 